was like, do you want that many mangoes? I was like, yes, I want that many mangoes. Do you want that much over? Yes, I want that much over. Why would you? Welcome to another day in Malaysia. Yeah, we are going to go to the grocery store today. A Malaysian grocery store. It is somewhat like your grocery store, but I'm going to try to find some different things that maybe you don't get to see all the time. Along the way, I'm going to try to show you our walk, which I haven't filmed our walks for you yet at all because one, it's so hot outside. It's just like we want to go outside and get indoors as fast as possible. It's just so hot. Two, honestly, the walk is a bit dangerous. Um, whenever I'm out walking, I really have to be concentrating on what I'm actually doing so I don't fall, so I don't get hit by a car, so etc. etc. Actually, there is a part of the road that does have a sidewalk all the way down our part of the road, which is really nice. However, after you get off that sidewalk, we're walking across two busy streets. Like right now, it's rush hour because people are going to work. So you're trying to cross in front of cars. There aren't any spaces. So you're trying to literally make sure that car knows that you're going to cross in front of them and that they stop. Then other parts, we are walking along the side of a busy road because even though there's a grassy patch, there's construction on part of it and there's trees right against the road, so we can't walk on the grass anymore, so we literally have to walk on the road. Anyways, all that to say, I haven't filmed because I am more concerned about getting out of the hot weather and not being ran over by a car. So I'm gonna try to film some of that for y'all today. Go to the grocery store, it's about a 30 minute walk for us. The bus, unfortunately, doesn't really go there, and we go to this grocery store as opposed to the traditional market beside us because the traditional market is honestly just so much more expensive. Everything else is just double, triple, or quadruple the price of the grocery store. And so as much as I want to support the traditional market and the people there, I can pay four ringgit for a pineapple, one dollar, or I can pay 20 ringgit for a pineapple. Like one dollar versus five dollars. I, I don't know what to do about that. And I feel slightly bad, but like, I don't have a job. We're gonna go to the grocery store, show you a few things, and I hope you all enjoy it. Okay, I say we play a little game. How much does a white girl sweat on a walk in Malaysia? Caveat, by the end of the game, the white girl will no longer wanna pick up the phone and show you because she'll be so hot and tired and exhausted. So, let's go. <laughs> that it was Saturday so actually we don't have to cross as much traffic on this street today which is really nice because normally it's packed bumper to bumper at this time.
beautiful, but uh, the smell around here with these drains all around me, oh boy, that's a whole other ball game. sidewalk and then we start walking on the grass Nobody's turning right now. Normally there's people in this turning lane coming at you as well. Yeah. Okay, there's somebody. Yeah. That's fun. Real fun. Then you go halfway in the street. This is the halfway point. No cars, thankfully. Normally there are. We're early today. And then you get the rocky sidewalk here. Okay, broken sidewalk. <laughs> then the drain's right there. So nothing like it. And then you swirl around these trees here. You wanna see the drain? Not much water in this one right now. Well, you can't actually see. Just rubbish. Oh yeah. Just some trash. We're almost there, people. We're almost there. Here's our little durian stand that we pass all the time. So after the drain smell, you get the durian smell. I don't think it smells that bad, but I haven't tried it yet. Just another fun thing for our little walk today. pretty happy because we hit the air conditioning and I'm cooling off.
Nestle doesn't own the world, then I don't know who does. My two favorites right beside each other. Seafood sauce flavor. A little salted egg, hot and spicy. Get that kick. Of all the shockers, I have A and W here. Before I start, I wanted to tell you how I'll name the price and then on the screen I will put the conversion, the USD, everything's in kilograms. So I'll put the price and the pounds on the screen for you so that you know kind of the direct conversions for the US. First, we got tomatoes. They were on sale this week for $3.59 ringgit a kilo. And we got a little over a kilo and half of those for $5.84. One interesting thing about the tomatoes here is I buy them and they're not really red. I even bought a really green one this time to see how fast it would go really red, but they just go from green to red at home. So it's really great actually because they just so easily turn and become ripe. 
without having to buy super ripe ones and eating them really fast. We got five cucumbers because they were on sale again. If you remember, I told you that they went up in price. They're three thirty-nine a kilogram, and we got five of those, which is a little over a kilo and a half, and five forty-six. Not too shabby. Right after we got here, the cucumbers went up almost double in price or more, and now they're back down again. So that's nice. This cabbage is on sale for $1.49 a kilogram. So we paid $1.97 for this. It's so cheap, I have a hard time justifying not buying it. So I'll just eat a little bit less cabbage whenever I eat it so my stomach won't hurt. After the cabbage, we always buy two kilograms of carrots every single week. We've been buying the Australian carrots because unfortunately the Chinese ones, which are cheaper, don't have a good flavor at all. So we've been spending a little bit more money on carrots, not much, but a little bit more money on carrots so we can have a better flavor carrot and they're better quality. This week I splurged on two yellow peppers. It really wasn't a splurge because we got them off the bargain corner. Peppers are, I think, 12 to 13 ringgit a kilo. So three or four US dollars. Enough for me to not buy them all the time. But these two, the only bad spot is like right here at the top of this one. That's the only bad spot I found. So for two ringgit, I figure you can't go wrong. So bell peppers are probably my favorite vegetable. Specifically, I love the red ones, but yellow, orange, I'll take them all. So we were shopping for my Vlogma shorts. And in Germany, there's a tradition where you hide a pickle in the tree and I guess the kids find it or something. I haven't really researched it right for this video, but I will for the next one. And so pickles are hard to find here. They have pickled vegetables, so I figured we would buy these. They're Szechuan pickled vegetables. And the last time we bought pickled veggies in another country, I think Argentina we bought pickled veggies. I refused to eat them. They would just smelled like calcium or something. They smell like calcium to me. So I refused to eat them. But these ones are going to be very spicy because they're such one. We get to try new food. So three ring it for those pickled veggies. Off the bargain corner again, I bought seven mangoes, green mangoes. They're pretty much probably all right. Um, well, maybe. I'll cut those up and chop them up right away because they have bad spots on them and whatever but love mangoes and so for two ringgit a piece that's seven mangoes for four ringgit which is not too shabby and i'm willing to deal with a few bad spots for that i hadn't tried these yet these are long beans and as you see they're like spiralized in there because they're very long and i haven't tried them i'm assuming they're like green beans but i feel like they were more expensive than this they're 3.99 a kilo and this is 0.35 kilograms for a dollar 41 and so i figured another vegetable greens so hopefully it tastes like a green bean and it will be delicious okay to get to the real story of today and why I had to go and get these because their specials are only Friday, Saturday, Sunday, which is kind of annoying because it's only on the weekends. I wish it was all week, but they have okra this week for $2.99 a kilo, which is very cheap. Last week it was $3.99, so I had bought, I think I bought three packs last week for $3.99 because that was a really good price. They're normally $6.99. So I bought six bags of okra, which is all of this. I've been roasting it, but I probably won't roast this all since I've been getting it so readily. Yeah, I'll probably just steam it because I love the flavor of okra so much. So probably around two kilograms of okra. Every week I buy one kilo bag of bean sprouts because they're three ringgit for a kilo. So really cheap. I stir fry these up. I put them in my noodles every single day. Anything really. I just put them in whatever, good to go. And then we got, I think these are radishes off the bargain corner. For one bag it's two ringgit, so four ringgit for four things of this. Um, 
Radishes are typically around four dollars a kilo, so and they're really heavy. So I figured that's like about a kilo for two. So this week I'll be eating lots of okra again. If I want to, I can freeze this or whatever. Whatever it takes. I may have been a little crazy with it, but it's worth it. Mangoes. She was like, do you want that many mangoes? I was like, yes, I want that many mangoes. Do you want that much okra? Yes, I want that much okra. Why wouldn't you? Let's be honest. While we were walking, it was Saturday morning, so it was not nearly as busy, which I'm kind of thankful for. I want y'all to see the traffic whenever we're walking on the road, but I don't want a car to run me over while I'm walking on the road. I'm kind of thankful it wasn't as busy today as it could have been overall. I hope that gave you a little bit of an idea of what it takes for us to walk to this grocery store. We have ones that are closer, but they're probably double or triple the price of this grocery store. We don't really just want to go and buy everything there whenever we can easily walk to this one, get stuff on sale or cheap. I'm thankful that you came along with me. You should like and subscribe this video. Go out and make the world 1% better today, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.